Yo, what is good, broskies? It is your boy, Moy. Today we are in Brownsville, Texas, and we are also going to be doing my first ever mukbang, and also we are going to be reviewing Kane's Finger Licking Chicken. I think, what is, is that what it says? Raising Kane's Chicken Finger, one love. So we're about to try uh, Kane's for the first time, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with a detailed description of how everything tastes. What we're working with is some breaded chicken fingers. We got some toast. We got some fries. Hopefully it doesn't start raining on us. We got some coleslaw on the side, as you can see here. And we got the famous Raisin Cane's uh, sauce, which I've always heard of, so I'm ready to try that out. The first thing I really wanna try is the chicken. So let's, try, let's go ahead and try out the chicken. It's a little flimsy. Maybe, I don't know if that's a good sign or not. It's almost falling apart. Like, I'm just wiggling it, it's falling apart. As far as the breading, there's not a lot of breading on it, which I kind of like. Uh, it's more of a chicken kind of feel. So taste, I'm really paying attention to taste right now. But let's try this again, shall we? The chicken, the chicken isn't stupid moist, but it has a nice moisture to it. Like it's not like watery when you squeeze it, but when I did bite into it, there's definitely some moisture in there. Overall, it's not greasy. It's not flavorless, but it also doesn't have a daunting amount of flavor, which I'm used to. The next thing I wanted to try out was this lemonade. The guy that uh, that was serving me, I asked him, hey, what does everybody get? He was like, this, this is what everybody gets. And then he was like, well, everybody gets a lemonade. It's fresh every morning. So I was just like, hell yeah, let me try it out. So we're going to try out this lemonade from Kane's uh, Chicken Fingers. Okay. Okay, so it isn't the sweetest lemonade, which uh, with preference, I'm okay with. I don't like too much sugar. As far as the actual lemon taste, I wish there was a little more citrus within the actual drink, but overall the balance between sweet and lemon is there. It's smooth. The ice could have watered this down a little bit. It's only been like five minutes. But um, so far, the lemonade isn't too sweet. It's not too sour. It's smooth on the palate. We're gonna try out the chicken with Cane's, the cane sauce. I'm ready to experience this. So we're gonna do a nice big old dip. All right, aliyup. Cheers. Mm hmm Okay. It's most definitely reminding me of sauces back home, like the cookout sauce. It's most definitely reminding me of something from back home. Let's give it one more shot. Mm -hmm. The best way I could really describe this sauce is like a sweet, I mean, not really, not sweet, but a very salty, Mayonnaise with spice on the side, but overall like more salty than spice. It's like a salty mayonnaise with like a bunch of peppers in it. And it even looks like it too. And it has like this bitterness of ranch. If you like ranch, ranch has this like tiny little bitterness on the side. and That's what the sauce is giving me. Let's go ahead and try out these fries before they all get before they get fucked up. We're gonna try them out by themselves. They look somewhat fresh. Um, it's not like like scorching hot. Oh yeah, this is bad. The fries are not even seasoned, which is terrible. Yeah, these suck. Yeah, these fries suck. I don't care what you say. They're not seasoned. They're not like, 
they're just not fresh, you know? Uh, it sucks that I have to say that. Maybe if I were to get like some fresher fries, it'd be better, but the fries suck. The tiniest amount of salt. I really hate to like base the overall like outlook on this specific, you know, like experience. Let's say the fries were extremely fresh. Um, I don't, I didn't know who was working today. Maybe they weren't feeling good, and they were just like, "Fuck these fries. We don't give a fuck." Tasteless soggy potato. That's all I can say. All right, the coleslaw. Let's try out this coleslaw. So, what I'm gonna do is actually use a piece of chicken to get some coleslaw and see the overall um, contrast between the taste of the chicken and the taste of the coleslaw. There isn't necessarily much of a flavor contrast. Excuse me. The the coleslaw is overpowering when it comes to combining it with the chicken. I'm used to and I would prefer like a salty and savory together. But let's try it one more time. Overall, the chicken's bland, the fries are bland, the coleslaw's good, the coleslaw's good. We're gonna try this toast, let's just fuck it. Oh, I like that, holy shit, this is good, hell yeah. This isn't just buttered toast. This is like garlic buttered toast. I'm really fucking with the toast. This is good. This toast is fire. I'd come back for the toast. Probably not the fries. Maybe the chicken. Um, let's go ahead and dip this bad boy in the sauce. We're gonna put it on the bread. And we're gonna put a little bit of coleslaw on there. And I really wanna combine all these flavors and really find out if there's any like contrast and really see if these, if all of this goes together as far as contrast, flavor, and all that. So let's, let's try it out. Mm-hmm, okay, yep. The first thing I taste is most definitely the sauce. The sauce is overpowering in a sense of the saltiness, um, but that's just based off of my palate. And then really what I tasted after is that freaking toast, man. That toast is really good. I like the toast. But the chicken, the chicken and fries, man, they're just, they're just letting me down. Chick-fil-A, my cousin told me that this was supposed to be better than Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A has flavor in their chicken, like, or at least flavor in their oil or something, but we're going to try this one more time. I'm going to do it with a little less sauce because it is somewhat overpowering, but let's try this out. The only thing saving canes right now is that freaking toast, bro. 
the fries, I do not want to eat those fries. Like, the only way I'm going to eat those fries is with this ketchup. And that would be hard. But, this is going to be our last bite, guys. It's just going to be the toast, uh, coleslaw, and this piece of chicken. This is going to be our last bite for today. Oh, it's open. Yeah, guys, I mean, I'm a fan of the breading, but it was almost flavorless compared to what not only I'm used to and what my preference is consisted of as far as my palate and how I like to conjoin flavors to create this experience of a, of a mouth like, you know, but um, the only thing saving this shit is the fucking toast, bro. Like, the toast is the best thing in this dish. Like, literally. It, I thought it was just gonna be regular buttered toast, but it was like garlic bread, honestly. And I'm a big fan of how the garlic bread contrasted with the sweetness of the coleslaw and then you have the saltiness of the actual canes um, the actual cane sauce if I could rate this out of 10 I'd give it like a solid like if 10 is the Lord's chicken on a Friday night then this this is probably like probably like a good seven. A good. I'm gonna rate this a seven. The chicken wasn't as flavorful as I thought it would be. It was. It was. It wasn't flavorless, but it didn't have as much flavor as I prefer. Um, the fries again. Trash. Coleslaw was smooth. I enjoyed the coleslaw. I enjoyed the sauce as well. It reminded me of the cookout sauce. And the lemonade. The lemonade is very enjoyable. But I know this is supposed to be a mukbang and you're supposed to eat everything, but it's also a review. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to try this out on camera, give you guys a detailed description of what I went through and you know, maybe uh, you guys wanted to try out canes too and now you know what you know what's up. Uh, but like I said, sometimes it really depends on who's working today. Maybe they weren't having a good day, maybe they didn't give a fuck about what they were doing and shit and it happens. I've worked in the food industry before. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers. I'm gonna have to give the overall experience a seven. It's just the flavor in the chicken. There was barely any flavor in the chicken. That's why I feel like I should give it a seven. The sauce is good, the coleslaw is good, the toast is an absolute 10. The fries were trash, the chicken was like a good five. Um, but yeah, and the lemonade. Eliminate is good. But hell yeah, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you would like to see not only more mukbangs, but more food reviews. I do enjoy reviewing things with a deep amount of description to give people an idea of what they're getting into. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.